The French horn has a four octave range and distinctive mellow sound. As with other brass instruments, the musician plays certain valve combinations and alters lip tension to produce the right notes. However, on a French horn, the mouthpiece is relatively small, making this instrument one of the most challenging to play. The French horn is made up of 13 feet of coiled tubing, a set of valves, and a flared bell. To make the tail end, they shape a sheet of brass around a steel mandrel, then braze the edges together to form a tube. With a burnishing tool, an artisan rounds out the shape. Next, they lubricate a brass disc as it spins on a lathe. Using a variety of tools, they shape it into a bell. This plasma weld machine fuses the bell and tail together. Back on the lathe, they trim the diameter of the bell. Then roll the edge into a rim called a bead. This reinforces the bell. Next, they fill the bell with a hot tar-like liquid called pitch. Once the pitch cools, they put the tail into a forming block and carefully bend it. The hardened pitch provides support, preventing the tail from collapsing. They verify the bend against a template. Using the same technique, they shape the pieces that form the horn's tubing. Of all the brass instruments, the French horn has the most complex bends. These valve knuckles connect the tubes to the cases that'll house the valves. Some French horns have three valves. This double French horn has four. Each valve case goes on to this alignment device, which pushes in the knuckles to the correct depth. After brazing the knuckles to the cases, they hollow out the case interiors with a cutter. Then they solder the valve cases to each other with connecting rings. They insert the tubing parts into the valve knuckles. These curved tubes are the horn slides. The musician tunes the instrument by adjusting them in and out of the straight tubes. After soldering the straight tubes to the knuckles, they remove the slides for now to make other areas accessible. Then they solder this partially assembled valve section to the tail and bell. Now they apply buffing compound and polish the horn's interior surfaces. They polish the more accessible surfaces with a cloth buffing wheel. Then they wash off the compound and coat the entire surface in a protective lacquer. Now, final assembly of the valve section can begin. They install rotors in the valve cases and levers to activate them. Unlike piston valves on a trumpet that move up and down, these valves rotate to direct airflow through specific tubing combinations. A lever connects to each valve via a rod and nylon cord. With the valve section now complete, they reinstall the slides, then do a final wipe down to remove grease residue and fingerprints. This pristine finish complements the superb sound quality.